Hello, welcome back to EN64, today we are going to talk about how to create Windows installation package using Wix toolset. Wix toolset installation. Open browser and go to GitHub. Search Wix toolset. Click the toolset link. Go to the release page and download the latest version. Keep the download file. Open the file and start installation. Go to the system settings and make sure it is installed. Start the Visual Studio. Click Continue without code. Go to Extension menu and click Manage Extensions. Search Wix. Install the Wix Sharp project templates. Wix installation complete. The default demo project. Start the Visual Studio and create a blank solution. Add a Wix project to the solution. Select the Wix Sharp Managed Setup Custom UI project template. Rebuild and run the project. After successfully running, an MSI file will be generated under the project folder. Open the file and begin installation. An installation wizard will pop up. Click next to install the project. The project has been successfully installed. The installed project will appear in the system settings under Installed Apps. In the default project, we copy the program.cs file into the installation folder. Go to the installation folder of the project. You can see the program.cs file here. Let's try to uninstall the project. The project is now uninstalled and the program.cs file has been removed. Installation project for WinForm application. Add a new Windows Forms application project to the solution. Build the new project.
open the program.cs file. Change the file name of the MSI file to a name that is meaningful to you. It's also possible to change the installation folder. We can also add files to the installation package. Go to the debug build output of the Windows application. Copy the folder path. Paste the folder path right here. We can define which file types are allowed. Make sure those files exist in the output folder. Build and run the project to generate the MSI installation file. Go to the main directory of the Wix project to execute the MSI. Go to the installation folder. Installation of the file was successful. Next, let's uninstall the application. For convenience, we can create an uninstallation shortcut. Build and install the MSI file to see the uninstallation shortcut. Double click to uninstall the application. Now EN64 folder has been deleted. Let's try to create an event log folder. Now the event log folder has been created. Documentation Let's try to add a readme file. Type anything you want. Add the README file to the installation. Build and install. Let's create a feature for the documentation. Add the README file to the feature. Generate the MSI file by running the program. Go to the project folder and double click the generated installation file. Click the custom button, now you can customize the installation. Let's see what happens when you uncheck the documentation.
the README file will not be installed. Create an auto start shortcut. We can create a shortcut at the startup folder, so when the system starts, our application starts with it. Go to the Startup tab in the Task Manager. The demo app has been added to the list. Start Menu Shortcut Creating a shortcut in the Start Menu involves a similar line of code. You can also set the creation of a shortcut in the Start menu as a feature. Desktop shortcut Custom action.
firewall exception. Close application. Environment condition check. That's all for today's video see you next time.